Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Do you know what makes these stories so much more fun? Yeah, listening with a friend. Well, I want you to think of two friends right now that your parents can text this episode over to, and then you guys can listen together. Today's story comes to us from Wade. Hey, Wade, he sent me an awesome idea for a story on kidshortstories.com, and you can too. Just send me your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too. Let's go. Today's story is another story that happens in my backyard. Have I told you much about my backyard? Well, it's a beautiful place with fruit trees and forests and a big barn and a river that flows through it. Oh yeah, do you remember the stories about the shark that got lost in that river or the other creatures that have been in that river like the otter? Yeah, well, it's that same river. And this is a story about Beavy the beaver. He is a beaver that moved into my backyard and he's actually working on building a beaver dam in the river. And that is where today's story starts off. It was a beautiful day and Beavy was looking for some more branches and trees to add onto his beaver dam. Do you know why beavers build dams? Yeah. It's to stop the flow of the water for a little bit so that they can have a nice calm place. They don't like fast moving water. And so that's why they build those things to stop the water from flowing. And they can just ah, have a nice lazy pond to swim in. Ah, this is coming along just great. Well, I just, I think I need one more of the trees over there and then it will be perfect. Ow! And just like that, as Beavy was chomping on a tree, one of his teeth hurt really badly. Ow! What? How did... Ah! I can't feel my face. My tooth hurts so much. (laughs) Ah, how am I going to do this? Okay, maybe I'll just take a deep breath and try again. Ow! This is not going to get better by itself. I think Beavy is definitely going to need some help from a professional. Hi, I guess I'm going to have to go see the doctor now. Beavy started heading over to the doctor's office. You see, pretty close by, there was a very old goat who had lived a very long time, and he was the best doctor in the whole area. He could solve any problem. Hello? Hello? Are you in there? It says Beavy and my tooth are a lot! Help! I hear you, I hear you. Hold your horses. That was the voice of Dr. Billy, the doctor goat that lived in the area that was hopefully going to be able to help Beavy in his very bad toothache. All right, Beavy, what seems to be the problem today? Well, you see, I was... I was chomping away at the tree, and then all of a sudden this tooth right here, this one, it started hurting really badly, and I need to finish my beaver dam, or else I'm going to run out of time before winter. All right, well, come a little closer, and I'll, I'll take a look. Dr. Billy leaned in close to take a look at Beavy's tooth, and sure enough, he saw the problem. Beavy, do you brush your teeth every day? What? Uh, uh, I can't even remember the last time I brushed my teeth. What? I, I, I didn't know I had to do that. What are you talking about? Well, Beavy, teeth, they need to be brushed every day because they're sugar bugs. And those sugar bugs, they try to bite a hole in your teeth and... Teeth brushing, it helps keep them away, and I can tell that you still have a lot of sugar bugs on your teeth. I think that is what's making your tooth hurt, said Dr. Billy. Are you serious? There's sugar bugs on my teeth? Oh, okay. Well, uh, can I have a toothbrush and, and I'll brush it right now? How fast will it feel better? Well, it might be be a few more days of of your tooth brushing that's needed to make it feel a little better but uh, I'd say by the end of uh, by Friday Friday you should be feeling a lot better oh 
Okay, well, thanks for the uh, directions, and uh, can I have my toothbrush and toothpaste, please? Yes, here it is. All right, I'll see you later, Peavy. All right, bye, Dr. Billy. Thank you very much. Beavy the Beaver. Oh, he felt so much better now knowing what he had to do. Do you brush your teeth really well? Oh, I do. Yes, sugar bugs. Those can be trouble if you don't brush them away from your teeth. And I think that's a really important lesson that BV the beaver is going to have to start doing if he wants to keep building his beaver dam. As he woke up a few days later, Friday morning. <sighs> oh, boy, my, my tooth feels so much better now. Oh, boy, I can go cut down a tree. BV was so happy, he raced on over to go cut down that tree with the branches he needed to finish his beaver dam. And wow, was it a beautiful beaver dam. He was so happy to have finished his project and for his tooth to be feeling a whole lot better now. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Lily and Lena from Queens, New York. Lottie from Columbia, South Carolina. Jack, Charlie, and Liz from Denver, Colorado. Quentin from Ohio. Pursuits from St. Louis, Missouri. Maya from Boston. And Nathaniel from Rockwell, Texas. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop. Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.